guys what is up we're back with another week of go go loser ranger i hope you guys are all prepared by next week technically probably starting from tomorrow depending on the shows that you watch because majority of the spring anime is going to be completed aka any show that had 12 to 13 episodes if it has 24 25 or more you're good for the summer season but everything else it's nice knowing you we just hope we get we get announcements that there is a season two in production um and they're currently working on it and i'm talking about even all the shows that i'm currently reacting and reviewing to so as we know from last week's episode right episode 10 fighter d decided to go on his own way basically he's pulling a miles morales i'ma do my own thing because he no longer wants to just solely side with the monsters or the villains of the universe in his world or side with the heroes or at least those who are actually the good guys amongst the very sketchy sentai rangers aka also known as power rangers of this world of gogo loser ranger so in his words He's going to do anything that he needs to do to accomplish his goal and everyone else be dead. Get in my way and you're going to be taken out, okay? So, um, with, with you know, Poteora, Tira, I can never pronounce this name correctly, basically had its second mode, boss mode, okay? And now it's gone into hiding or is still being hunted by the Blue Keeper. So, without further further ado we'll see if this all ends today or in the last episode by next week so let's get into go go loser ranger episode 11 because remember he has two bodies or at least he separated his body in two Nah, don't, don't, yeah. Be smart. Because you need the artifact weapon. Well... Boy, man, throw the thing. Girl. Oh, okay. Oh, she flexible as hell. Girl, so I'm running. Stop. Uh. The team were the team. Oh, he don't tell me he's going to. Oh. Oh, she's going to. Damn. He lost his Oh, he can regenerate. Oh, that's oh, wait, I forgot Pink Ranger is what
It's what you gonna call it. It's basically the recover squad or something. Nah, she got she got two knots in bro. <laughs> Not her eating it. What in the... Wasn't that I almost heard it? Sailor Moon today! Jesus. What information did you get? Who are those people? Yes. Yes, dang. She kicked them out of space. Girl. Girl, shut shut up, shut up. Don't provoke the one that can kill you instantly, like. Oh, she running away. It's <laughs> your whole of all Joseph Joseph. What is um, um my man? How you still? How, how you still? Uh, you got a hole through your what type of what? What? Hey yo! You 
got a whole blessing through your tummy. How are you still alive? Wait, what? Oh, my boy is looking it. Oh, she came back. Oh. She really did pull a Joseph Johnson. <laughs> You look, you look like, you look really horrific. Facts. Oh, he gave it, yo. Yo, D, you is so smart, bro. Got up with the hole in your stomach. You just Who's this new kid? Y'all worrying about monsters and we got humans at the end of the day still doing crime. <laughs> Yo, they're not even afraid of rangers. And he still miss okay.
No, oh, God, look at the <laughs> on his forehead. Damn, the life is rough. Nah, cause he got he got beat by red, like blue keep the old blue keeper. So y'all so were right there. These are different keepers. The one at the time probably that was dealing with um an uh, album pull together. So he was doing this to help the kids, basically an orphanage. Hold on, this was our, oh, this is how blue came to be, the blue we have. Hey, yo, man, what happened to your face, man? Ay, ay. Yo, because I saw something was weird with his face, bro. Eh, 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 Ooh. Yo, he is so full of himself. I didn't even know they were going into the past like this. Oh, wow. Oh, Blue. Oh, Blue, you a real one, bro.
Oh, nah, Blue, you... Okay, you my favorite ranger, bro. <laughs> you my favorite ranger, bro. She's fine, bro. Right! Yo, the ones that act the most roughest. Oh. Based on what I'm seeing so far, especially if it's a series that I have not read the manga for as of yet. I'm wondering, and just hear me out, this is just something I'm thinking of based on the episode. If Suzukiri was part of a uh, clergy, uh, a cult, or, sh or something, that used to worship boss monsters, because it would not, it would not phase me if that happened in this show because of how they're doing again i i can't help but you know compare it to the boys because that's what's going on right now i still need to watch season four of the boys i, I watched season one to three um if you can't stomach a lot of stuff that that series has do not go watching it um where society looks at heroes as being the overly good guys they can do no wrong there are protect are protectors are saviors and then monsters are inherently evil there's no redeeming qualities about monsters or bad guys whatsoever Does, doesn't care what their background is or anything of that sort they're irredeemable and you have characters like um fighter d who even though as a monster again we're seeing as the course of as the show is going by for a couple of weeks now that Fighter D is starting to like humans or at least those he's surrounding himself with. So he's growing to have or learning to have some empathy for a few humans. And the best example for that would be in last episode when he basically had his epiphany or, you know, after being attacked by Peltura, uh, Pel Peltura okay, to the point that he's now questioning those who are his bosses, those who created him and his other fellow uh, fighters, the, the minions, the pawns of the, of the boss monsters. To the point that he made, when he made that decision that he's no longer fighting for solely the cause of monsters or solely for the cause of humans. Now, um, when he had that what if moment, he gets all the money and he's, you know, the biggest monster in the world. And technically, he just wanted to like do things that anybody that wants with money right and then those he befriended which are humans it's like nah bro come live the good life with me so i think that's still part of him so anyway going back to suzu kitty um it makes me wonder like if she was part of a clergy or a cult a group of people that worship monsters and they couldn't be known to the public and then she found out the very disturbing truth about monsters so at the same time something in similarity to with um aoshima that's his name aoshima the new blue blue keeper dragon keeper um 
in a world where it's just like screw the the monsters screw the rangers and everything until push comes to shove right and then they see what really the world is like um also the guy who's a cadet i can never remember his name but he lost his brother right and how the dragon keepers specifically red treated him and now he has a grudge boat against the dragon keepers and monsters alike at the same time so it's just like suzukiri has an alternative alternative motive at the end of the day right she's very mysterious we have little to no context as to her reasons but that particular moment was very interesting to me again with um alshima guy did crime to help an orphanage to help the original blue keeper because even though the blue keeper you can tell he he retired and he has an orphanage and he at the same time says like screw you know justice and everything the laws of justice all i care about is these kids living a good life he's the same one that was taking care of a young hibiki and his sister as well as what's that guy who's a third third rank officer those two knew each other for a very long time since they were kids and all the old the old blue keeper wanted to do was just protect these kids these kids who are old orphans who lost their parents either to monsters or to you know regular society or their parents in an unfortunate accident or their parents didn't want them whatever the case may be so to see his background i don't care about the other dragon keepers all i care about is blue but why I had this ickling suspicion and I did not say this in the reaction part, but why? This is Genge. This is Genge Akatami territory right now and I'm scared now. <laughs> I know they've done it way before, but because it got popularized by Genge Akatami, if you read Jujutsu Kaisen or you even saw it in like season two, <laughs> I'm scared <laughs> because if anybody knows about Genge, he likes to give you a little background story until something messed, something bad, something so messed up happens to that particular character and something is giving me that ickling feeling and it's not a good feeling. If, if I'm sorry, if D does something to, to Blue Keeper, to Aoshima, I, my life for D, which is up here, it, it may drop to here, bro, because I'm like, Blue cares for everybody. He cares for his own, just like the previous one. He's not trying to be the the bringer of justice. He's just trying to do the right thing. He has the rough ex um ulterior, okay, rough exterior, but he cares. He cares. He's rough on the outside, kind on the inside, you know. So if if D does anything to Blue Keeper, I said my life for D for these past few weeks has been up here. If he does anything to to Alshima, down here, bro. I still like you, but like not that much. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so serious, bro. But bro, so much can be a thumbnail, and I don't know what to choose yet. But by the time the video is uploaded, you'll know exactly what the thumbnail is. But man, we only got one more episode. And I don't know if we're gonna get a season two, but if you are a mongery, of course, no spoils, but do tell me how you felt about this episode versus the chapters it's adapted from. If you are an anime only like myself, what are your predictions for the final episode? And what were some things you were able to take away from this episode? The links are in the description box as well as the full videos on my Patreon. I would love for you guys to go there and join and to support me on there. It will be greatly appreciated. The links are in the description box and I am Kimi-chan and I'll see you guys later. Bye!